Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I've got a cook with me video for you and I'm just doing a quick and easy um, chicken casserole in my slow cooker. So if I will take you along with me. Um, so if you like this video, then please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any other videos. And I do all types of videos um, from mummy tips as I'm a working mum, working mum tips to cooking videos, to what my toddler eats, just everything that involves mummy daily life. So, I thought I'll bring you guys along with me in this video and I'm just about to show you what I have for this. So, I'm heating, I'm gonna heat a little bit of oil in a pan because I'm going to fry my chicken. I'm gonna wait for that to heat. Oh, wrong hob. <laughs> Dear, I'm tired today. I'm heating up my oil because I'm gonna fry my onion. Over here, I've got my slow cooker waiting. And I am using two chicken breast fillets. And I am just about, I'm gonna chop them up into small pieces and I'm gonna fry them up in the oil in a minute. Then, today I'm cheating. I've got about two cups of frozen veggies. Um, I do have some fresh, but I'm a bit lazy today. I've been working all weekend, so I just want to do a quick dinner tonight. I don't have to think about a lot. But then I also have one green bell pepper, and I also have one onion in there. And I am also going to fry that in my pan, but I'll show you in a minute. And then I've got one whole jug of, oh, sorry, it's not the best um, view. One whole jug of chicken stock, and that is, I just used three chicken oxo cubes mixed with water. For spices, I've got some salt, and I just use, you know, everyone uses different amount. And then pepper to season with. I've got, I'm gonna use parsley in mine, because I'm running out of herbs. I'm trying not to buy too much stuff. I'm trying to use what I have in my pantry. So I'll probably use about a teaspoon of that. I also have a little bit of hot paprika. I'll probably use about half a teaspoon of that. And that is all I use for spices. Also, just to thicken the sauce, I am going to use, put, this is my flour. I'm going to use a tablespoon of that while I'm frying my chicken. Um, and hopefully that will help just thicken my sauce in the slow cooker. So let's get going. Right, so all chopped up and I'm gonna put it in there because my oil is heated. And I've also managed to wash some dishes. So I don't have too much tidying up to do. I like to clean as I go because otherwise it's just too much. Let's see if this is going to work with one hand. Right. And I'm just going to brown that off until it is completely brown. Once it's brown, I'm going to put a tablespoon of flour in it and then I'm going to transfer it into my slow cooker. So, the chicken is half brown, it's still a bit white, but I've added the flour in now. So I will brown it with the flour for the rest of the time. It shouldn't be too long because it will go in the slow cooker. I'll show you guys in a minute what it looks like. So the chicken is mostly brown. I'm just going to transfer it into my crock pot now. You just want it to be brown and then it will continue cooking. I mean, some people put it straight into this little cooker. I like the meat to be a little bit brown. Browned. So I'm just gonna transfer that. I have to put the camera down. I'm trying to do it with one hand. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more oil on here. And I'm going to fry the onion and the bell pepper just until it's a bit softened. Okay. 
and then we are going to transfer that to the sofa as well. So you can see, you just want to push the onion in just nicely light brown. You don't want it to burn. Mix it all in and all that that was stuck in the bottom is in between there as well. Now, I mean you might want to get rid of it before you um, fry it, but I wanted it for extra flavour. So that's what I did. Turn up my hot. I'm going to transfer this to my slow cooker. I'm going to add that into my slow cooker. Oh, it smells so good. I love this smell of cooked onion. Then I'm going to grab my frozen veggies and I'm going to add it in here as well. So that's what it looks like at the moment, my slow cooker. Yum. Oh, it looks so good. Now, because I want extra veggies, I mean, you could just use all fresh and veggies and fry them all with a bell peppers like carrots, um, s uh, mini corns, all those kind of things, courgette, you can do whatever you want, like I said I'm being lazy and I'm using frozen. Now I'm going to put some salt, about a teaspoon, but everyone likes different, I'm not measuring because I more or less know how much we want and you can always add afterwards. Some pepper, uh, some paprika. If I had smoked, I would have used smoke, but this is the only paprika I've left. Probably about half a teaspoon because it's hot and I don't want to burn the little one's mouth. And then some parsley, probably about a teaspoon as well. And then my jug of stock. Just gonna pour it over. That's what it looks like at the moment with everything in. And I mean, you can um, adjust this. You can use beans instead of veggies. Lots of different things that you can do with it. I haven't tried making it, but you could probably put like some noodles in and turn it into like a noodley soup thing. But this is what we're having today. Um, I just really wanted some veggies. Like I said, I'm cheating and being lazy and using frozen veg, but you're more than welcome to use fresh veg. And all I'm gonna do now is put my lid on and I'm gonna cook it on high. I've already got it on high there. I'm gonna cook it on high for three hours and I'm gonna come check on it. And then that should be good because um, I thought it pre browned, pre cooked the chicken. So three hours on high and then I will show you guys what it looks like after three hours. So guys, that is dinner done, like I showed you. It's now in a slow cooker, getting ready, and now I can relax. I am going to make myself a cup of coffee, already started, and you guys like my cup. It's from the Parliamentary Review. They gave it away as gifts at the end of the night. Um, everything with some pens and stuff as well, I think. And yeah, thought it was a cute little cup because my husband's business got in the parliamentary review this year, so that's quite a good achievement. So yeah, so quite like my little cup. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. Is have a cup of coffee because I mean it's finally napping. She's been really hyper this week. Like I don't even know why. Like. I mean, it's good because she's super happy, but I've been working all weekend and then I went and finished late last night and then was back in at work. Oh, that was really bright. I was back in at work really early this morning. So I got home about 12.30 um, and then it was lunchtime and stuff when I came back. So I didn't put her down till about 1.30. I just went on Facebook a little bit and things like that. And then came down to start dinner. And I should really be cleaning, but I am gonna go and sit a little bit more until she wakes up and thinking I might actually just do my cleaning tonight when Luke gets home um, after dinner time and after Amelia's gone to bed because I'm just really unmotivated today. I'm just having a day where I'm really, really tired um, and just want to rest, please. So that is what I'm gonna do is 
going to enjoy my coffee and my uh, parliamentary review cup. So yeah, I will see you guys later when I will show you what dinner looks like. So this is the end result. It's about three to three and a half hours, between three and three and a half hours later. I got a bit distracted. Um, so I didn't check the exact time, but it should be okay after three hours. Um, and this is what it looks like all dished up and it looks really good. And I can tell you that it was really, really delicious. So I'm actually really happy with the way this turned up. I just sort of improvised and wasn't sure whether I was going to put this video up because I wasn't quite sure if it was going to be good or not because I just sort of went with whatever. Um, and yeah, it was actually really good. My husband and my daughter both liked it as well, um, which is really good because Luke isn't really a soupy kind of person, but yeah, he really enjoyed it as well. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to hit, hit the bell so that you don't miss any future um, videos that I post. So until next week, bye.